And lastly, something not very common, not a lot of people even know, um, blasting super physiological amounts of anabolic steroids. <laughs> What's up guys, Dom back from the Lee Sofa and today we have another one for you, all right? Now this one is how can you tell when somebody is taking steroids? The age old question, but before we start this video, like I always say, please like, share and subscribe. It means the world to me when you do that because then I can help grow my channel. Also at the bottom right here, I wanna see you guys leave a comment. I want you to rep your city. I wanna rep your country, wherever you are from, because it shows me, I just like to see, you know, where my audience is coming from, right? I'm in this little basement in Toronto, Ontario, and it's just nice to see, you know, where the audience is from, because Wow, people around the world are listening to me sometimes. Anyways, drop a comment there. So how can we tell if somebody's on steroids or not? Truth is, most people taking steroids look like absolute shit. Yep. You would think that, you know, people who are taking steroids, they're looking like jacked and just fit and everything. Absolutely not. A lot of the guys who just, you know, take steroids. They just wanna look good for vacation, for a wedding, for a photo shoot, for a music festival, whatever it is. And they go the easy route, or what they think is the easy route, really. Because they don't wanna put in that work. They don't want to do the cardio, they don't wanna watch their diet, they don't wanna work out that hard. Some of them do, some of them do, but some of them don't, okay? Now, really what I'm trying to say here is you can't tell. You can't tell because some people look like completely out of shape and they're taking steroids. Now, is this video really just here to say like, hey, you can never tell if somebody's taking steroids or not? No, that, uh, there's no point in saying that. Now, are you always gonna be able to tell? No, but there are some side effects that are associated with anabolic steroids where you'll actually be able to Take in educated guess, okay? And we're gonna get into some of them right now. First one is muscles, all right? If someone, now what steroids are gonna do is they're gonna help you recover and repair faster and they're going to bring you to a limit that you could not go to naturally. Now, is this always a good indicator? No, because everyone's genetics are different. My natural limit is different from Joe's natural limit, which is different from Sandy's natural limit, which is different from Mark down the street's natural limit for muscle. So you cannot always tell, but typically the more lean muscle they have, not always, but sometimes it's easy to show like, hey, maybe he's taking a little bit of the saws wool. Next is body hair growth. Now. Again, is this a good indicator? No. Me, I'm a hairy person in general. I know you can't, maybe you can see a little bit of it right there. I was this hairy well before I ever started taking steroids or even doing TRT. But what it does do, sometimes you're gonna get a little bit of accelerated hair growth, maybe on your back, on your chest. Uh, women definitely get it a lot more, uh, but Guys, like I said, sometimes it doesn't affect anyone at all. They get no body hair growth. Uh, so that's a thing too. Acne, back knee, uh, pimples on the chest. Sometimes it does happen. Yes, as you can see, I actually I have one right here. Uh, so it does happen sometimes. Not all the time though. Not all the time. I am telling you some of these side effects. Uh, but you're not going to see it in everyone. They're, that's why there's some fake natties, you know, and they just... Get right by it because people are like, well, how can he be? He, he doesn't have any body hair. He doesn't have any acne. You know, he, he looks fairly natural when it comes to the muscle, muscular development. But uh, yeah, it doesn't show up in everyone. But these are some common side effects. There's some, no, there's, take the quotation down. They're common side effects. Uh, not everybody gets them, but some people do. Now, this is one that I've noticed uh, more anecdotally than statistically. Uh, I have heard... I believe it's a myth that there are androgen receptors in the shoulders and the traps, right? And because you're taking 
anabolic steroids, which are higher in androgen levels, those grow to greater capacity. I don't know how much I believe that because for example, let's say you never work out your traps, there's no progressive overload, how are they gonna get big, right? So there does need to be a stimulus there, but what I have noticed anecdotally is, yes, definitely the shoulders and more than anything, the traps, people who I know, who I talk to, who take steroids, typically they enlarge at a greater degree especially when you're working them out. So that's something to look for. Male pattern baldness, okay? This is not going to happen for everyone. There are people who 21 years old never touch a steroid in their life. They're completely bald. There are people like me who, you know, I fucked with everything at one point. I'm on only TRT now, but I fucked with everything and I have a full head of hair. But sometimes, you know, if you see a guy full of muscle, 26 years old, completely bald. Huh, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, but I'm saying this is something to look for. And lastly, something not very common, not a lot of people even know, um, blasting super physiological amounts of anabolic steroids ages you. And you'll see it in people's face. I, 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 I've seen it, I've seen it in my face. Uh, I'm gonna put, a picture of up, I'm turning 30 now, and I'm going to put a picture up of when I was actually using a lot more, I was 27 years old. I'm gonna put it right here. You can kind of see it in my face. I'm, uh, I feel like I looked older for sure. Uh, but yeah, then, then once I got just back on the HRT, it was good. Another ex good example is uh, Larry Wheels. Larry Wheels looks like he's, in his mid thirties, and I think he was born in 1995. What's the math on that? Uh, that would make, um, God, I'm horrible at this. Uh, 20, 27, 27 years old, okay? But the guys look like he's 35 for like the last five years, right? So aging is the thing too. But at the end of the day, you might see none of these things. You might see zero of these things. You might see someone who has no muscle, all their hair, no acne, no body hair growth, and looks like a little young kid, and he could be taking tests in Anavar, right? He could be on steroids. So really, we don't know. Uh, just something to look out for when you're looking for someone who takes it. Anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe. Until next time, I am out of here.